What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you to Danganronpa V3. I literally haven't played the game in two months, so I look completely different. It's kind of insane. Uh, I have to try and ignore that. Also, I'm worried that I'm literally walking into a death, because I remember ending the episode and be like, oh my god, something bad's gonna happen, so I'm scared. Uh, we have to, oh, we have to talk to Shuichi first. Cool! Hey, at least you're not dead right now. That's cool. If somebody's dead, it's not you. So, da da da. Oh god, please no. No, oh no, no, no. Did I just, did I just speak this fucking, no way, I just spoke this. What's wrong? What's the matter? No, 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 no. I did not just say, you're fine, you're alive, it's totally fine, and then he's freaking dead. No, I did not. No, I did not. Okay, thank you. I was gonna oh. say, if I just spoke his death into freaking fruition by saying, oh, that's not possible, I would forget. Danganronpa is Danganronpa. And if you like a character, be careful, because they're gonna die. <laughs> uh, oh, Kayane, good morning. Finally, you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry, Sorry uh, I was just going to the bathroom. <sighs> Are you ready then? We have to get to the cameras from Miu, remember? Okay. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, Miu, the crazy lady that swears all the time, but is also really funny. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate inventor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hey guys, how are you? Hey, hey. Have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to a Tua with me. Uh, what? You shouldn't even give up that easily. <laughs> true, true. But, but... You two get along so well, I would hope it would rub off on the others in the dining uh, hall. Huh? What are you talking about? Tua has spoken. In such dire times, why won't they stop what? fighting? Fighting? Ah. Um, they're fighting in the dining hall. A Tua is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Shuichi. Shuichi? Can you get the stuff from you? I have to see what's going on in the dining hall. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Let's meet up later in the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, that's, yeah. that's simple instructions. I like that. Thank you, Shuichi, for giving me simple uh, instructions to follow. Angie, you said something about the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting and who, or who's fighting who though and why? That's a great question, honestly. Um, I have a feeling that Kaido's in a fight with somebody because Kaido likes to pick fights and it's like, Kaido, you, dude, what are you doing? Like, why are we picking fights right now? Like, I, I'm gonna say it's between Kaido and Tenko. Kaido and Tenko, that's my guess. And I'm gonna be so wrong, but that's my guess on who's fighting Kaido and Tenko. Because that they seem to be the two that would be the most at odds with each other, you know? It just seems right. Dining hall. Whoa, there's a lot of people in here. That's not what I expected. And the two that I guessed is not even in here. What's going on here? Oh, Kaede. Perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. Ryoma started talking like crazy. All I was doing was making a suggestion. So the more people can survive, so that more people can survive, even if it's not just one more. Or even if it is just one more. What, what were we talking about? Why were you yelling? Um. So that more people can survive. Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know. The only way to avoid that is to play along with the killing game. Huh? What? Now hold on a minute. Me. Oh. Huh? Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get it either. I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I... I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well... So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong! No way! We promised we'd all get out of here together! <laughs> hmm. I hoped it'd end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without anything, doing anything to change it. In other words... There's no time left for idealism, don't you think? <gasps> no. It's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for this situation. Whomever murders me gets to leave without trial. Everyone else survives with the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well, how about it? If you've got a better idea, I would love to hear it. Um, well, what should I do? 
Maybe if I share Suichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Actually. Ryoma, there's no need for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end There's no need for that because I'm going to end this I've game. My decision. And I've already decided. What? You're going to end this hey. game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However, Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh yeah. I wouldn't be saying it if I couldn't do it. Yeah. And how will you end it? You understand the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be say having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I said. I am going to end this game. Get it? So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, all right? What? Unnecessary. You've still got a ways to go. When you put it like that, it seems I still have a ways to go. Got it. All right, I got it. Take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. Wow. The dining That's hall. A shame. Oh, that Ryoma. God, I hope he calmed down a little. All right, I hope I helped calm him down a little. Anyway, Rantaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this yeah. game? Not sure. Huh? What? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. I can't risk anyone interfering. Prayer time. Okie dokie. Then Angie will pray for your strategy success, Rantaro. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I do have my best to live up to your ex- I will do my best to live up to your expectations. Hmm, I guess. I have to do my best. Rantaro left. But when he said he had- Or what he said had really affected me. Uh, Ending this game? Even if that's possible? Mm -hmm. I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game. <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe Rantaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion in the end. Only a two of those. Rantaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but if we don't have much, if, but we don't have much time left, I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things. I don't understand. I just need to do what I can, or else I won't be able to protect anyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom in the stairs next to the basement, right? Yes, that's where we're going. Classroom in the stairs next to the basement. I'm like, I'm again, I'm nervous. Like today is the deadline. So something is got to happen. And that's really scary. Okay, so this is not the basement one. The basement one is this way. We're remembering how to run now, which is good because we didn't do that before. Like literally the last two Danganronpa games, we didn't run. We we just straight up did not run. We were like, okay, things are fine with walking and walking is just what it is. And it's like, no, th th no, <laughs> we can run. <laughs> Running is okay. Running is fine. Oh, it's the classroom we actually saw Suichi in last time. Shuichi. Sorry I'm late, Suichi. No. Ah, uh, it's all right. I just got here too. Um, How did it go? Did Miu finish the cameras? That's... Oh, she must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that'll take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And one will... And this one will take a picture and trigger the, this receiver. And of course, they've turned off right... Or of course they're turned off right now, so there aren't any taking any pictures right now. Hmm. Since their disposable cameras won't... Have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yes, Mew thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. Oh, so once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time a sensor is triggered? Okay. She also modified them so that they're completely silent and not attract attention. I see. They're completely silent? That's perfect! Wow. This needs to be. There's absolutely they are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh. And do the cameras have flashes? That's Yeah. They still have flashes on them, but I switched them off, so they shouldn't be a problem. But but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, though. Miu modified them to our specifications. Then... All right. I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Huh? Huh? Tell me about the classroom. Is that all right? Yes. I think this is a perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um... That's fine. But why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down the basement with the door open a little. 
Wow. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. We can give a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Interesting. Okay, that's a smart idea. I'm here hey. for it. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason. Is it is Shuichi gonna plan an ambush right now? Hey. It's because of something that's only here. Oh, the projector. Oh, we we have to pick the reason, which would be the projector. Oh, no, it's not. Also, this is one thing that I haven't been doing and I'm gonna do now because it actually costs it gives you like coins galore and I got so mad that I didn't have money to uh, do the thing right to like do anything in free time and I'm over here like this exists I could have just done this chilled literally cut some of this out for you guys because honestly it's understandable for me to cut some of this out uh, I'm not trying to grab this you know what but you know it's just happening I'm sorry um but, like, look at how many coins I am getting simply by smacking objects. They literally pointed out that it is a thing in this game. And I'm over here, like, not using it at all. And not getting any coins for it. And I got mad because I was, like, didn't get anything. It's like, oh my gosh. It's like, well, you know, if you actually did game mechanics, you would actually get stuff. Shocker. Imagine that. I, I would never be able to imagine that anyway. That was just for demonstration and show. Um, one more thing. What? What? Ah, oh, meanie. <laughs> That's not right, but I just saw that one just like on it. Okay. One more reason. Oh, the vent. I can investigate the vent. Is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement, and you'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? After Shuichi told me that, I leaned closer to the <gasps> vent. Oh, it smells like musty old books that lead to the library. Well. Or does this lead to the library? It's probably a vent to control the humidity within the library. Remember. Remember that duck that we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. I see. But the a vent in the classroom, that's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, Everything about this school is odd. Uh, um... This vent is another reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should be able to watch this carefully too. Hmm. I don't think I could fit there though. Well, maybe I could, but it would be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then. Anyway, it is time we should set up the cameras now. It is finally time for us to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous, but my heart is racing. Okay, time to do stuff. Would you like to leave? Yes, we have to. Well, we don't have to. I could stay here with Shuichi forever. But that's not really intended. So Shuichi's just really nice, okay? It's fine. Sometimes you need that like comfort friend to hang out with you and just do whatever you want to at that point. Okay, library. This is where they're going to want us to go, right? Because this is where we set up the cameras and get things set up to action. Yeah. Hey. So, where do you want to place these cameras? You're right. Let's aim for one linked to a receive or let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself when it then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And if we place the camera face or to face the moving bookcase. Okay. Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Hmm. Then we're putting the other two sensors, or where are we Remember. putting the other two sensors? Well, they, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each of the entrances. That way we'll have a picture of everyone who enters in the library. Huh? But how about over there? Um. Didn't you say the person could fit through the vent that connects the classroom? Hey. Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through it? That's... I think it'll be fine since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should invest investigate it a little bit more just in the case. Hmm, but we can't reach that high. We need something to stand on. A ladder! Let me just hit some of the books. Oh. Wrong. 
I I know 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 I am aware I'm aware I'm aware I'm aware I want to hit the books because I want my mono coins I need my mono coins really badly because I'm weird like that moving ladder but that is something that oh we can probably use this ladder I position the ladder below the vent and climb it up Whoa. Now that I'm up oh. here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Uh, sorry. Sorry, huh? <laughs> yes. I see them. The answer is yes. <laughs> well, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. There's a grate covering the vent. So, I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? Uh, there we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed, in, or I pushed the grate into the duct. Then, I lifted my body and looked inside. So, how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? I would say Just so. Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. Yeah. With that, I began to rearrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? Kaede, what's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Choplin's ballades. Oh, more music. Okay, I forgot we're the ultimate musician. I like music, but like I don't know like half of these classical music references, and I feel terrible, but it's fine. You know? I actually really like complicated compositions like Rude Goldberg's ma machines and stuff. Or weird contraptions like Rude Goldberg's. So I am positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um, you really think so? Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. Oh, right. So let's hurry and set up those cameras. Yes, yeah, so I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so <gasps> that... Hold on. I had an idea while I was on the top of the bookcase. What if I place the camera up there? I'm sure if the mastermind wouldn't locate it. But yeah, but with the book stacked at the top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test it out. You prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make the room for the camera. Right? That way, we won't be able to waste any time, right? Okay. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. All right. Let's do it. I climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the bookcase. Hmm. Hmm, there's way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered with stacks of books. Oh, right. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I recognize or reorganize the books bit by bit. Jeez, there's there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. Huh, I thought so. No. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. Facts. It's all right to admit the feet. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Did she actually get it, or is she just going to keep trying and trying and trying and it not work? Jeez, these books are so heavy. What is this? An encyclopedia? I flipped up in the book. Dot, 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 dot. Wait! Katie, is this really time to be reading a book? <gasps> Sorry, I got distracted easily. Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there's too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Aww. It'd be easier if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. You're right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. <sighs> then I guess it better it's better to be put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, um... No, 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 I don't. Um, if we put them on the top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Aww. Ugh. And here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that all right? So, about to place the cameras? Hmm. 
we decided to place a security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the cameras linked to it will be set up right here. That way, the master it'll capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're going to place it. The other of the two cameras near the en exit and exit, right? Entrance so. and exit. Yeah. That makes sense. I like that idea. I think I think here and this bookcase is good. Then they would have to pass by here no matter which door they use. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot of the, when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then, Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And then we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey! Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can you can use this. Yeah. Thank you. Look at him go. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the camera in the gaps on the bookshelf. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Yeah. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. All right, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. If they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect it and signal the receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap a critical picture. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. Our plan will probably work. Not just probably, it'll definitely work. Then... All right then, the final step, turn on the sensors. I see. Oh right, we should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up. We have to leave quickly. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if it took our pictures. After setting up our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly, quickly exited the library. Mm -hmm. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. You're right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. I love that they kicked us out on like the easier pathway, though. I will say. It is neato that they did that to us because they could have been mean. They could have really been mean there and made us go the long way. But they were nice. Oh, it's evening time. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it was going to beat out of my chest at any moment. Then, uh, Let's keep the door open a little so we can see if anyone goes to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um... Kaede, about the security sensor receiver. Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited than me. Ah, there's a power switch to it, so make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you hold on to it, Chuichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Chuichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say these things like that, anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um... Talk to me. Oh, boy. Heart to heart conversations! You know? It's probably none of my business, but I really think you need to be more confident. Right? Especially for the ultimate... Or, especially since the ultimate initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. No. Really. I, I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I, I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But, but one day, I came across a murder case, completely by chance. Uh, I solved um... it before the police did, and they called me the boy detective. But that's when I was scouted by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved a single case. Huh? Even so, it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't even do that. No. I, 
I wonder. I wonder if... Uh, it was really a good thing that I solved that case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later I heard that... He murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. Whoa. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. And that's not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah. I uncovered the, the truth, which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... And, uh, anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eye sometimes. So that's why he wears the hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed that Shuiji's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What, what are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without that hat, okay? Aww. Jeez. I just want to see you, everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play the piano. To see the smiles on everyone else's faces. That's why I, we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. <clears throat> right? So we can see everyone smile, or we, so we can smile with everyone else. Okay. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever next, or whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course, but all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer. Then suddenly, said moment arrived. Oh boy, what is going on? What? Wait. Huh? What is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing? The time limit's almost up. Uh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? <gasps> Wait, Kayede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? Huh? People talking. I focus my attention on the hallway. I can hear a group of boys and girls talking. I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Gunta, Kaido, Tenko. Why are they all going downstairs? What's happening? Wait, what's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
These were all the people that stayed with us in the library. Or in the in the scene, not the library. The scene. Except for uh, Sumigi. Oh, no. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Kimiko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? The seven continued to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro was with them, too. Didn't he say that he would end this game? Hmm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they all are heading down to the basement right now... Could the Mastermind be with them, too? Kaido, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro? One of them is the Mastermind. No. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. N no. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the Mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm going to check out the basement. Huh? I'm coming with you. No. No. You stay here and keep watch, Kayede. With that, Shuichi dashed out of the classroom. Um. Huh? Why am I alone now? Realizing that I was alone, all of my fears and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. jeez. Uh, what? I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. I started cleaning up for no reason at all. I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. I could see Kayeti doing this. Shuichi, please come back already. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Shuichi! Hmm. Kayede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Oh, well, no reason. Anyway, what about the people in the basement? Okay. Everything's okay. They, they all went to the game room, actually. The game room? Why there? A body ding has been discovered? Dong, dong, ding. Oh, in one hour, everyone dies. Oh, what the hell? Hmm. There's only one hour left until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure the Mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when time runs out, the Mastermind will go to the library. Then, it happens so suddenly. Oh. My heart nearly left out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand finally went off. Shuichi, the receiver! That's it! Someone move the bookcase! Hurry, Kayane! Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Oh. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous that I felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. What in the world? This music is actually so good, though, for this moment, too. All right. Kayeni, let's go inside. Yeah. yeah, oh no. What are we about to discover? We're about to discover something. Bracing myself to comfort the mastermind, I had balled my hands into fists without even realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Shuichi, who had his hand on the door. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Kaido! Well, never mind. Your timing is perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Kaede definitely is welcome to join. Huh? Strategy meeting. Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're going to fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be... Harder for Monokuma to get into the basement. So we are going to the game room. Ho hold, hold on, both of us. Both of you come with us. The Mastermind is in the library. Uh, Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? Sneak attack. I don't really understand, but you need me You need me to a Kaido throw whoever's inside, right? All right? No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take him down. Uh, this isn't a competition. We are going to open the door right now, okay? Oh God, this is not good. This is gonna, this is gonna be it. This is it. This is it. This is it. With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all of my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. Oh no! I uh, okay. Wait. We just saw the door closed. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room, slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where is the mastermind? We quickly walked towards the moving bookcase. And then, not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw... Is that where... Is that what we're expecting? 
Yeah, oh god, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? What? Okay, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That is not who. What? I guess we'll never get to know what his talent is until later or something because or at least we won't know from him because man's gone um oh damn uh <laughs> rentaro amani who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us lay dead on the ground what why him first My class trial, our class trial, deadly life. Oh, Rantaro? What in the world? What the hell's going on? Right after Tenko screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What happened? Gunther here screamed. Huh? Ah! Blood. So much blood. Oh, me, oh my. Uh, isn't that Rentaro? Uh, what's wrong with him? You don't know. He's dead. Huh? What? He's dead. Well, that's unfortunate. But how? How can he be so, how can be how can you be so calm? He's talking like normal right now. This is weird. Suichi examined Rentaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. We are too late. He shook his head. No way. Too late. You mean dead. Are you serious? He's dead. My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? And? The monitor is off. It was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does it mean the, the mastermind is dead? No, it, no, no, no. Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantaro was... No, no, that's not the case at all. Well... Ah, this means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? Killing game? Then someone killed Rantaro and... Uh, Wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Um, the killing game hasn't started it because this just ended it. What? Or maybe this ended it. Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? What? The mastermind? Uh, um, uh, I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time of it ended... That's true. There's a high chance the mastermind planned this. And if he's dead... What? A body has been discovered. Yes, Everyone, it has. Please gather in the library. Oh, he's gonna explicitly say where it is. Okay. Oh God, Monokuma. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, what a relief! A murder took place just before the time ran out. Huh? Monokuma, but how? Oh, I got a little nervous there, I gotta admit. Because the killing game hadn't started yet. Oh, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. <laughs> how? The mastermind controlling you is... Huh? By the mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind is controlling me? And you think it was Rantaro? <laughs> oh, what an imagination. Of course that's wrong. <laughs> If the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over. What's wrong? But hey, um... uh, the victim was Rantaro Amani. The ultimate who cares? Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... Shuichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? N no. He, Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't meant to Rantaro, the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. 
Rantaro was the only one that could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't it mean that he was trying to use that hidden door that he was... And that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, then why is the killing game not over? Uh, um... Why? Why is he dead? So true. It's no use. It's no good. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Shuichi. Oh. Ah, the pictures! We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the camera we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. Rantaro, but, but why? Really? Ah! That's Rantaro! Oh, oh, thank God! I thought it was a pile of dirty rags! I see. I see. So I, it ended up happening after all. <laughs> my, my. What a world. This is full of jokes like this. How? Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is a lie, right? My dear Rantaro is... Duh. Oh, I, I mean... <laughs> was killed? Stop it. That's the same thing. Hmm. Hmm. How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead. The guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can somebody explain the meaning of all of this? Huh? Nah, an explanation isn't necessary. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial. So that would be a waste of time. Go ahead. With that said, if you are the Blacken who killed Rantaro, raise your hand. What? The one who killed? Rantaro? Degenerate male. I knew it. A degenerate male like male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait. Rantaro, didn't he? How do you how you know a boy do it? I won't forgive you. I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Yeah. Psh, that dumbass, how dare he go and get himself killed? Don't screw Who the hell did it? I'll freaking punch you into the orbit. Don't get so angry. Send your off your graduating classmate with warm farewells. Rise and shine, or shine. It's getting interesting. Or send him off with hostility and a bunch of catty popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. Oh, but if we gotta disrupt the process, then we gotta bust out the exiles. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to look at nasty dead bodies. <laughs> Slurp, nothing beats the crashing of a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane like fishing with dynamite. So, so whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm a real stickler for the rules. I am also tough on convenience store clerks. My heart's racing. Then congratulations. With the black and who's about to graduate, please raise their hand. What the? No one is raising their hands. You bastards! Hey, uh, did you hear me? All the Blacken has to do to graduate is speak up, you know? Huh? huh? No one is stepping forward. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. The Blackened has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Very well, then. Psycho. I will give the Blacken what they want and hold the class oh. trial. It's getting wow. Interesting. Now that's a spicy twist. Wait, what the heck is going on? Got it. Like we said before, we were going to hold a class trial so you are, like we said before, we're going to hold a class trial so you bastards can find who Rantaro's killer is. So. Uh, get it right. Only a Blacken will be punished. <laughs> but if you get it wrong, simultaneous surgery, brain and knee, and then brain surgery again. My heart's racing. Everyone besides the Blacken will be punished. Uh, Everyone besides the Blacken? Everyone? <sighs> this outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Thrills, chills, kills! Uh, before we hold the class trial, you'll gotta investigate first. Uh, but if you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Jeez. Oh, so you're saying? We, oh, so you're saying we really need to do the investigation ourselves too? Mm -hmm. Of course! The investigation is what makes the killing game so good! You guys are gonna investigate the crime un undercover or undercover. Wow, we're undercover Monokuma. Let's go. Under uncover the truth. <laughs> the Blacken's handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected! Alright, the trial will begin soon, so. Please give the investigation your all. So long, farewell. All right. 
Let's get going, Wait. then. Wait, where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rantaro's death, right? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. I... I don't want to be annihilated! The girl should be allowed to live at least! Uh, I just know cute normal girl who can use magic, you know? Why you? You're the last person you should be calling herself cute! Yeah. Do not fret. Just imagine this is something out of a police drama or detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. We're right. Impossible! I am in trouble. I am never watched police dramas or read detective manga. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We only need to con er, converse with the corpse. A corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes. By becoming the face within the or face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great many things. <laughs> Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? But if that's true, is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are one in fifteen. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. That's not the problem Underneath. here. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe you? Uh, uh eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the killer? Only a two of those. Weird. You can, you know, can choose that way. How exciting. Uh-huh. Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. <laughs> yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... For now, we need to trust each other and start the serious investigation. Huh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same as not trusting each other. No. no, it is completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder because... Not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Hmm. Ah. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> you were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... uh, no. I just said what was on my mind, that's yeah. all. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming a super reliable. All right. I agree with Suichi. Actually, he said exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Males are degenerate creatures who barely betray or who betray others easily, uh, but I'll trust you this time. Only good things, uh, the only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Damn. Allow Gunta. Gunta not smart. I'm not sure Gunta be much help, but Gunta do his best for everyone. I, I will work hard with Atua's guidance. I am much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As an office investigator, logic directives are, are logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to the paranoia. I will do my best. If that is what everyone desires, then we shall give this task. I shall give my task as my okay. all. Or this, I shall give this task my all. You can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Whew, I'm glad no one has given up yet. Uh, yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do, all I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rantaro has died for nothing. I have to do it and I won't give up. We'll escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So let's get started. We need to do this. So poor Rantaro won't have any regrets so we can survive. Okay. Yes. Let's find the culprit who killed Rantaro. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Shuichi. Shuichi! You boy. So what happened in such a short time, and I haven't been, or so much happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Oh, geez, there's more. Hmm. Oh, this isn't quite the mood that I was expecting, but oh, it's I'm okay. Bad. At least you guys seem like you're getting into it. You again? What the fuck are you even doing here? Huh. Don't be so crude. I've come to make sure you or bring you all a wonderful present. Uh -huh. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. A notebook that will that will kill anyone whose name is written on it. Could it be the death? Yeah. Whoops, my bad. It's a Monokuma file. Yeah. Oh, you did that on purpose, didn't you? 
The Monokuma file is the detailed report of that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there is no info that would point to the Blacken because that would ruin the trials. I don't know. Maybe you'll find out it find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know? Don't screw around. Psh, Monokuma file. Like hell am I gonna believe in something he made? Yeah. Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents, no? Atua has spoken. He says he wouldn't take her eyes off the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. The file has all the info on the victim. I wonder what it says. Victim? Rantaro Amani. Or, Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered within the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. The victim subjected, or was subjected to a blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in a cranial fracture and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. A sh it was like it was like a shot put. Somebody like shot put into his head, but like, how could you do that without the camera? Is the scary thing. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so I'm going to assume he wasn't right. But if Rantaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually, I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rantaro is really dead. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind it. killed Rantaro. Right. Mastermind, I'm sorry, but what are we talking about? Please. Kayane, please explain what's going on and spare us no detail. Yeah, yeah I will. Shuichi and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the mastermind hiding among us. And about the trap we had set in the library to lure them out. And that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check. And discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see. So that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. Psh, you should have used those cameras I mod. So you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit? No. But why would you keep something so important a secret from us? Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it is. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But... But if those ca are cameras, won't this case be easily solved? Oh man. That's so Wait. boring. Your amusement is l at least the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. <sighs> uh, the culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be a case closed. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me go get the cameras. Shuichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. Is that all right? Okay, I got him. Well, it was hard removing the camera that Kaede set, Kaede set up. She taped it down really well. Because I really didn't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember, here is the three cameras. Uh, um, now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that task. That's amazing. Wow. Is there anything that the ultimate maid can't do? Leave it to me. I heard everything you just said. If it, that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? Huh? I'll do it. I'll develop the photo so your bastards can focus on the investigation. <laughs> because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Hey, don't butt into our. She ignored the objection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. Oh. <laughs> I am a strong sensual woman. Do you need? Do not underestimate me. Uh, hey, give those back. Give it to me. No need to worry. We all have to follow the rules, and we won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Monophane, what the heck? Uh, Wait, give those cameras back. It was pointless to yell at Monophane. Or, Monophane left as swiftly as the wind. Oh, my. Ah, uh, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was being careless. Um, it probably okay. She says she developed photos and then give photos back. That's right. Yeah, she said she has to follow the rules, so I don't think that she would destroy the evidence. Sheesh. Look, so we have no choice but to believe that. Because Atua is watching over It's us. important to believe it. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um. Kayane, I know you're worried, but you gotta trust me. We have to be patient. No. No, that's not what all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. But now, we're just in a bigger mess. 
a mess. We have to see through the end. Hey. Ah, uh, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. Is that all right? If it's all right with you, could we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? Huh? Shuichi. I'm. I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. As a detective. No, I. I want to help you. Shuichi. Of course. With you at my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so... I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually... It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I would like to suggest that we do not investigate by ourselves. Why? In other words... If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might destroy the evidence, right? <gasps> oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us. <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any of the evidence. My apologies. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kurumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, then we all will be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. I'm surprised. There it is. Investigation start. I was waiting for that. I was like, it's coming soon. Well, in the next episode of Danganronpa V3, we will be taking on the investigation portion. I'm excited, but also relatively nervous because a lot has happened. Our first death was absolutely not who we would have expected it to be. I figured they were going to keep freaking um, Rantaro alive a lot longer than they did. So we will just have to find out in the next episode what will happen. And there you go. That's how long it's been since I freaking played, by the way. That's a long time, I know. But yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one when we tackle that.